Am I wearing the exact same makeup as I did in the last tutorial? Yes. Did I just change up my hairdo, lipstick, and shirt to pretend like it's another day? Yes. Am I gonna keep this hairdo up all day? Oh, hell no. Ponytails are migraine-inducing monstrosities. This is going off as soon as the camera is turning off. Hey everyone, welcome back to Needle Workshop. My name is Emily and I'm back today with another tutorial for a brand new costume inspired by sash sashime, yes, inspired by Satsuna from Yasha Hime. Today, I'll be showing you how to assemble the leggings. The pattern for this costume will be linked in the description box below. The pattern comes with a very detailed written tutorial that includes tons of info on how to properly measure yourself, how to print the pattern, along with material suggestions and the tools used throughout this video. We worked really hard on this guy, so please, Plus, make sure to check it out. Before we get started, I'd like to preface this by saying that we personally used a medium weight polyester cotton blend jersey for this project. We opted for a four-way stretch jersey since that's what's needed for this garment. We also opted for a medium to heavy weight jersey so that the garment would retain some structure when used to make the matching shirt. Important to know for this tutorial is that the whole garment is assembled with an overlock. When using a stretch fabric, you really want to use a stitch that has some give because, you know, the fabric's gonna stretch. <laughs> if you don't have an overlock, you can always substitute it with a zigzag stitch, but the overlock is the fastest and simplest way. So make sure to keep that in mind. Also, always make a mock-up before starting. I know, the, the clapping is kind of annoying. I should really stop that. This allows you to make sure that the fit is right. <laughs> Better to f*** up an expensive fabric than your $20 a meter one. We'd also like to thank Mira Scarlet for collaborating with us on the production of this costume. She was absolutely great to work with, so please make sure to check out her work. All the links will be in the description box below. Note that she styled the wig herself and made the shoes and props. So without any further ado, let's get started. Starting with your leg pieces, align your inseams to each other, right side to right side, and sew into place. Set your leg pieces aside. Take your cuff pieces and align their back seams right side to right side. Sew them together. Bring your leg pieces back out. Right side to right side, align the raw edges of your cuff to the hem of your leg, making sure to align the seams. Pin in place and sew together. The best way to finish your overlock is to slide the excess overlock stitch back into itself using a blunt, big-sized needle. The next part is to sew both pant legs together. Right side to right side, align both the legs together at the crotch. Make sure to align all your seams and notches and sew in place. Once you're done, set the pants aside. Bring out your waistband pieces and sew them shut at the back seam, right side to right side. Right side to right side, sew both waistbands to each other at the top edge. Turn inside out and iron flat. Lastly, right side to right side, align the raw edges of your waistband to the waist of your pants. Make sure to align the seam of the waistband to the center back seam of the pants 
and make sure to align all of your notches and seams properly. Sew in place. And with that, your leggings are done. All right guys, hope this video tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this kind of content, then please give it a big thumbs up, mm, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all our upcoming cosplay tutorials. Nailed it. If you'd like to know more about our upcoming projects, then please feel free to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. All right, so until next time, good luck with your project guys. Bye-bye.